Hello everyone, here's your weather hazard briefing for Friday, March 8th. Pretty quiet weather except for a little bit of fog and stratus around and that's this morning and probably even tomorrow morning and maybe even into Sunday morning. We'll just have to see how things play out, especially with the breakdown of the pattern as we go through to the latter half of the weekend. However, no matter what happens there, warmer weather is headed our way and that continues into next week. Uh, probably peaking on Sunday. Uh, speaking of Sunday, we got a quick little offshoot system from a low offshore. A few showers in the mountains and it'll be breezy. And then one a one-two punch starting Monday into Tuesday and even into Wednesday. That's going to give us a better chance of rain and snow across our area. Looking at satellite, some higher clouds to the west, but not much going on over our neck of the woods. A little closer look in. Uh, the bluish gray, that's where we have uh, low clouds and a little bit of fog, and that's pretty much all the way from around Island Park through a good chunk of the Snake Plain into the Magic Valley and some of the valleys south and east of the Snake Plain. Interesting, uh, not much showing up around Stanley this morning, but with this as cold as it is, I wouldn't be surprised to see some patchy fog or a little bit of stratus developing right around sunrise. We've seen that happen off and on over the past couple of days in that area. And also some low clouds and potentially fog down towards Logan in that direction. Uh, this should slowly dissipate f later on today. Where we do get some breaks, that's going to allow a little bit of sunshine and accelerate some of the melting and sublimating of the snow. That means the stratus and fog returns tonight in several areas, just like we're seeing right now for a repeat tomorrow morning. The weather, weather risk outlook, we don't really have that on there. Not much of an impact, at least a widespread impact in any particular area for the fog. Going into late Saturday evening, Saturday night, a little bit of light rain and snow initially moving into the Central Mountains. And that continues into Sunday. Some minor impacts up in the Central Mountains, not much, but some minor impacts. And then we see those impacts slowly increasing as we go into Monday into Tuesday. And temperatures start gradually cooling off, at least afternoon temperatures. Overnight lows start to come up because we have clouds, precipitation, and a little bit of wind around the area as well so we'll go ahead and get to where it looks like we're going to be today we'll increase it a one to three maybe even four degrees across the board some upper 30s as you head down into the magic valley and certainly low 40s as you head over towards the treasure valley for this afternoon near four right around 40 in salmon and near 40 around chalice and stanley as well Going into tomorrow morning, it's going to be a cold one with a lack of cloud cover in some areas. Otherwise, where we get the clearing, it'll be in the single digits to above to single digits below zero. And where we get a little bit of cloud cover, maybe just the tiniest hint of wind. And we're talking about, you know, just a couple of mile an hour here and there. Temperatures in the teens to near 20 degrees. But we warm up nicely. Look at those low 40s returning across portions of the Magic Valley, the lower Snake Plain, down towards the Utah border. Almost 50 in portions of the Magic and Treasure Valleys tomorrow. Low to mid 40s all the way from Stanley up to 75 and 93 all the way up into Salmon and into the breaks as well. For Sunday, we continue to warm it up. Low 50s, Burley, Twin Falls, down towards Malta as well. We might even see a few more low 50s and a few more isolated spots south of the Snake Plain. Otherwise, temperatures in the 30s and 40s. If you're just craving for it to stay below freezing, you got to really head up there uh, into the Tetons or up into the Central Mountains on Sunday. And on, on Monday, you'll start to see those overnight lows increasing, and we start to drop those uh, afternoon highs a little bit with more cloud cover and precipitation around. And that trend continues into Tuesday. But you see a lot of the lower valleys staying above freezing in the afternoon, dropping off below freezing or just around freezing at night. So we've got a rain-snow mix coming our way for the lower elevations, even some of our mid-elevations with this storm system. Now, Without getting into very specific numbers, we're taking a look. Uh, this is for that whole event Monday through Wednesday, just to give you an idea. This is the potential of seeing more than a third of an inch across the areas. We're not going to look at the mountains because that's definitely where we're going to see the higher precipitation. But up and down the Snake Plain and Magic Valley, depending on when you are, it could be as low as about 5 to 10%, 25, 30, 40, even 50% across portions of the uh, Snake Plain for that period of seeing more than a third of an inch. 
this is over a three-day period. Going up in amounts and uh, going up into elevation is where we're going to find this is uh, more than one inch. We're not talking about one inch of snow or a third inch of, of snow. We've talked about that rain-snow mix in the lower elevations, so we're talking about rain and or melted snow in the lower elevations and certainly melted snow up high if you were to take it melt it and putting into a rain gauge to see how much is there you'll notice most areas not seeing uh, in more than an inch except up in the sawtooth and surrounding areas also the big holes the tetons and also across the bear river range some of those percentages pushing around 30 40 maybe even close to 50 percent above one inch for that particular period so we go dry and then we go back to wet again so once again this morning we've got some stratus and pockets of fog around this morning the fog is not widespread but where it is you'll probably run into some very quick dense freezing fog with the pattern coming the high pressure in place over the next couple of days it helps us warm up and then we even though we lose the ridge it's going to continue warm as this pattern is coming in off the pacific at least through the middle part of the week a little offshoot for breezy and a few showers at late Saturday into Sunday. And then, like I said, Monday, Tuesday, and into Wednesday is our best chance, next best chance of precipitation and moisture coming through our area. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. And do stay safe out there, everyone.